The action by the Brewers front office caught everyone by surprise as everything up to today said that Buck's job was safe. But the Brewers have lost 14 of the last 21 games and have played without any spirit. And then when Raleigh Fingers blasted Rodgers, it brought the whole issue to a head, and thus a decision was made. Rodgers, 43, a former catcher with the California Angels, took the head spot after George Bamberger had a heart attack during spring training back in 1980. Ever since that time, there has been rumblings, but all was thought to be over when the team made it into the playoffs last season. But the tension in the clubhouse this year spilled over onto the playing field the last three weeks as the team continued to make errors and look like a squad without a leader. Hopefully, today's move will make a change. Harry felt that a change at this time was needed. Uh, uh, we have a club that we feel is much better than it's played. And uh, our new manager, Harvey Keene, who's been here for many years and knows our whole system and knows our major league roster very well, uh, uh, also, I think, agrees that uh, uh, we should be playing much better, and then hopefully this will all work out for the best, and uh, uh, all of this will hopefully be a distant memory very shortly. The question is, how interim is Harvey Keen as manager of the Milwaukee Brewers? Well, that's a question I can't answer today. Uh, uh, Harry and Harvey are having a meeting right now in Seattle, and uh, uh, Harvey is our manager, and he is our manager in every way, shape, form, or manner. And uh, so... Uh, We've named him as, in, as an interim manager, but what interim means, uh, really, I think none of us know right now. Interim could be a long period of time or, or what have you. Hopefully, uh, things will all work out well, and uh, Harvey has our complete confidence. Uh, he knows our organization as well. The players have great respect for him, and uh, uh, I, I'm sure that it's going to work out very, very well. And uh, I know Harvey's very excited, and so are we. Once I made the decision that I felt a change had to be made, I didn't see any sense to wait. Uh, each game we play is an important game in a pennant race, and if we don't respond as quickly as we should and lose two or three extra games, that might cost us a pennant. Um, conveniently, starting a homestand might be, seem more appropriate, but for me, we have four games left on this road trip, and they're all extremely important. You've been thinking about it for quite some time? Yeah, I've had to. Our performance has not been good for the last three weeks or so, and... Um, there are any number of reasons for that, but you have to start looking at all those possible reasons. And when you do get to the point where you think managerial effect on the club might be one of them, you have to analyze that carefully. And I've been thinking about that for two, two and a half weeks. The 43-year-old Rogers was in his fifth season with Milwaukee after becoming the manager back in 1980 during the time George Bamberger was coming back from heart surgery. Ever since that time, there had been rumblings from the players about Buck. But when the team landed in the playoffs last season, things became quiet. But the tension finally started to build again and spilled over onto the playing field where the squad played sloppy and lost 14 of their last 21 games. Now it's up to Harvey Keen to try to turn things around. There's not going to be any major changes. I think it's too good of a ball club. It's got great talent. Uh, they, can, they can run, they can throw, they can hit, they can catch the ball. And I think there's just going to be a little bit more harmony that when we walk on the field every day, every night, that we know we're going to win and, and just give us 100% and we're going to come out ahead. You think you can turn this thing around? I certainly hope so. I'm going to give it my best. And as far as the players are concerned, outspoken Raleigh fingers may have sealed Buck's doom. It's tough to fire uh, 25 ball players, and it's you know, a lot easier to fire one manager. That's, that's the way it's always been. This is my uh, uh, 13th manager firing I think I've had in my career. So uh, sometimes, it, uh, I would say 95% of the time, it usually helps a ball club. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, you get some new blood in here, new different ideas, way to run the ball club, and sometimes it uh, has a little spark.